in this video, I want to talk to you about wrist hinge. So much nonsense. Low to set, no set. Come on guys and girls, let's understand what wrist set does or doesn't do. Then you might be able to make an educated decision on what you should be doing with your golf swing. Right, let's crack on. Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm really excited to bring you this video today about wrist hinge. Wrist hinge is something that I hear talked about so much and it's normally uh, fueled by, I feel very armsy. Now, armsy is a reference to using obviously too much arms in the golf swing and not enough body action. But let's understand why that might be. If we rotate our body, the more we rotate our body, the more the club comes around us. Now, if your concept is that I'm trying to swing the golf club in a straight line, the more I rotate, the more the club comes back. Now, if you believe that the club should run in a straight line, you're gonna find this game very difficult. You should understand that this golf swing is very much a baseball swing that's played at this plane, tips down to the golf ball. So the club should move around us. I think that's an important uh, ingredient for you to comprehend before we start talking about wrist set. Wrist set is simply a way of using the two levers. The more you set the golf club, as in more wrist hinge, the more you will create speed with the lever, or should I say, the more potential you have to use speed with the lever. Because the more we set the golf club, the greater the angle between arms and shaft, therefore down at the golf ball, if the club swings and it's allowed to swing, the golf ball will go further, all being well, the club head is traveling faster. Therefore, the amount a golfer either sets the golf club or doesn't set the golf club will depend on a few things. If your belief is that we should swing the golf club in a straight line, that will stop your body rotating. If it stops your body rotating, you can only lift your arms and you will tend to set the club a little bit more than your average golfer. The more you believe and have rotation in your trunk, the chances are the less wrist set you will have because the more you overpower your golf swing with rotation, the less you will overpower it with wrist set. So it's an ecosystem of rotation with the body and wrist set of the golf club. And when you marry the two up, all of a sudden you then become really quite powerful. Wrist set also relies on the grip, what type of grip you have. If you're a weak gripper, someone that has no knuckles showing on the left hand or the knuckles showing on the right hand, again, you will tend to be someone that sets the golf club a lot. Someone that is a strong gripper will tend, again, there are outliers, will tend to set the club less. So understand that too. But fundamentally, the wrist set is going to make your club travel faster or slower. Let's hit some. First up, I'm gonna make loads of body turn and no wrist set. So it's gonna be one long lever. One long lever, loads of rotation. Now we've got the club speed up, we've got the face angle up, and we've got the attack angle up. Club speed, obviously, we wanna understand that the more we use the levers, the more the club will travel fast. The face angle will be compromised depending on how you use your levers, which we'll come on to. And of course, the attack angle will be impacted when you either use more wrist set and less wrist set. So lots to bear in mind here. It's not just as simple as wrist set or no wrist set. There are consequences for either adding wrist set or taking wrist set away. It's really important to understand. So let's go first one, no wrist set. I'm gonna use my standard grip, which is on the strong side of neutral. So no wrist set at all. Just one long lever. Truly hideous, horrible strike, and the club head speed, well, it didn't even pick the club head speed up. That's a good start, Mr. Trackman. Let's go again. Oh, goodness. So difficult to do that <laughs> with no wrist set. So 83 miles an hour. Obviously, because I had no wrist set, invariably you would tend to see an upper tack angle because obviously if 
I haven't got any wrist set, I'm not going to create any downstrike. No wrist set, I really create a very shallow angle of attack and will tend to hit the ball up, especially if I've got the ball forwards in my stance. Now I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to make loads of body turn and loads of wrist set. This is John Daly-esque. So now loads of wrist set and the club's going to try and touch the back of my body and let's see what happens. Oh gosh, I couldn't sequence that up at all. But now look, look all of a sudden, I've gone from 83 to 107 and a half. Now, for those of you that have watched a few of my videos, I'm normally quite straight <laughs> and I can normally deliver what I intend to deliver. You can see on that one there, I mean, I, I, I pretty much missed that. I mean, it's so far out the neck and the golf ball's all over the place. I'm going to try that one again. So I'm going to go loads of wrist set, point the club shaft to the floor. And you can see that was a bit straighter. Now I'm up to 110. Now this time I'm going to go even a bit more with my body turn. I'm going to go even more wrist set and really give her a rip. So again, I'm not worried about where the ball's going. I'm just going more. So 111 miles an hour of club head speed, which is not bad. But understand, it's only gone faster because my wrist angles have become greater. Now I'm going to go back to my more standard swing with the same similar kind of effort. Oh, that felt hideous. Now all of a sudden I've dropped myself down to 102. So you can see that the wrist angles are actually giving me the opportunity to set the golf club, make it travel further. And down at the bottom, it's going to make the club travel faster. Now, the more wrist set I create in a backswing, there are things that will start to happen. When I set the golf club, because the golf club has actually started to move faster than my handle, it's going to arrive at the top of the backswing much quicker than someone who doesn't have any wrist set. So my backswing with loads of wrist set, you could say club shaft parallel, and it's a bit old money that, but club shaft is parallel, reach, reach the top of the golf club, reach the top of the backswing. You can see my shoulder turn could be relatively short, 70, 75 degrees. Now I'm gonna take all my wrist set away, or, or reduce my wrist set, let's say. Now I've reduced my wrist set almost to 90 degrees between my left arm and club shaft. Now the club is short of parallel, but now I've created over 100 degrees of shoulder turn. The thing that you've got to bear in mind, the more wrist set you use on the backswing, invariably you will see shorter body rotations. So if you're someone that believes that you don't complete your backswing or don't make a big rotation, the chances are you've probably got too much wrist set in your backswing. Reduce your wrist set which will allow you to improve your body rotation, you'll then be able to make a fuller backswing with your body rotation because the golf club won't get there so quickly. Even though you've reduced the amount of wrist set on the way back, it still doesn't stop you from adding it in on the way down and making it swing harder at the bottom. So these wrist angles, forgetting, into, uh, when I say wrist angles, I mean the amount we set the golf club. There are positives and negatives for both lots of wrist set and no wrist set. But find out where you are. If you're the type of guy when you video your golf swing from face on and your shoulder turn is short, but your golf club is parallel, take some wrist set out and watch how your body will then start to rotate more. If you're the kind of guy that's got the club shaft pointing to the sky and you've got loads of body rotation, wrist set more and you'll see the body rotation reduce. Wrist set has a lot to do with how we move. And wrist set also has a lot to do with how much speed you create with the golf club down at the bottom. I really hope you found this uh, interesting and useful. That will give you a better idea of what to do when you go down to the golf range or the golf course when you're next there. 
to improve your game, to improve your club hit speed, to improve your striking. Do stay tuned to the, to the channel because there's loads of content coming your way. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe while you're here. Really trying to build a great community that we can all move forward with our golf and play better. You take care out there, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.